Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Gridlock, a completely free tactics roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. It's out on Steam if you want to pick it up for yourself, but let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. It looks quite interesting to me from what I've gathered, uh, but let's see. Welcome to Gridlock. On the battlefield, you'll assume the role of a tactician. All of your potential strategies will be contained in your deck, which you'll need to carefully craft throughout the game. Gridlock has a turn-based battle system. Each side has eight grid spaces where units can be placed. Melee can only attack if they're in the front row. Ranged can only attack if they are in the back row. Grid 1 through 4 for melee, 5 through 8 for ranged. Combination units can attack from anywhere. During your main phase, you can play cards from your hand to add units to the battlefield. Playing cards costs energy. The amount is designated in the bottom right. Okay, right there. The amount is designated in the bottom right. In the upper right corner, you can see the unit's stats, damage, and health. Okay. One, one, one damage, one health. You can right-click on a card or unit on the battlefield at any time to pull up their information. Okay. Cool. So we've got ourselves a melee unit and a ranged unit. When you're finished with your main phase, you can click the phase button in the center to advance to the next phase. Okay. The art is familiar. I think this is a, a an asset pack. It might be a free asset pack. During the prepare phase, you can select which units will attack. Unselected units will rest instead, healing two points of damage unless they have a unique rest effect. Oh. Once units are selected, press the phase button again to add, sorry, advance to the attack phase. Units will attack in order, dealing damage directly to the enemy morale or to an opposing unit in the opposite grid space. Okay, so kind of going for like a, I don't know, almost like a inscription style of, you know, am I attacking your unit or you directly? Okay, very like blocker based, I suppose. Okay, so we're attacking for two damage. And yeah, and we okay, and we attack those specific spots. Lastly, during the discard phase, you can choose to discard any amount of cards in your hand. If you're holding on to cards that you're not currently that are not currently helpful, it's a good idea to discard them and try and draw something better next turn. When you're outside of the tutorial, you can hold up to four cards in your hand at a time during the upkeep phase. If you have less than four, you'll draw up to your max hand size. Okay. The enemy's turn is also broken up into the upkeep phase, main phase, and attack phase. They draw a random hand of cards and will be placed units based on their available cards and energy. And then they will also attack in their grid order. Makes sense. Stupefy. When attacking, opposing unit becomes... Oh. Enemy's Warlock has applied Confusion status to your soldier unit, which switches their attack modes, meaning that they can now only attack from melee range. Fortunately, you can move units to put them in more advantageous positions. Click on a unit you want to move, and then click an adjacent space. Costs an energy, but they can only move once per turn. Also, you drew an item card this turn. Items have abilities that can affect units or the battlefield. The Traveler's Boots, for example, can allow a unit to move without paying energy as long as they are on the battlefield. Okay, so we want to put that on you. You're the... Yeah, okay. I want to put it on you. Whoop. You're now in melee. So that's just going to happen again, isn't it? So shouldn't we, like... I don't know, put you over here to sneak more damage in? Prepare. We attack, attack, attack. Okay. Bye bye. There's a couple other ways to gain some advantages in gridlock. The button to the left of the phase button allows you to pay an energy to summon a spirit card to your hand as long as your spirit counter is at least one. When a unit dies on the battlefield or you play an item card, remnants linger as spirits, raising your spirit count. And since there's a limited number of cards in your deck, this allows you to give every card a second life on the battlefield. Gotcha. Okay, so... Okay. The button to the right of the phase allows you to gather intel on what the enemy's upcoming turn is. Once per turn, you may pay an energy to see the enemy's current hand, and all of their planned moves. 
Keep it in mind that the intel gathered this way is based off the current state of the battlefield and is subject to change. Okay. So this is their hand, and they're going to add a skeleton to grid three. Which should be this, right? Which will, I guess, theoretically kill me. Should, like, should I move it? I don't know. Do I, do I care? I don't know if that's something that really, truly bothers me. Well, we only have one energy, though. Restores two health to the targeted unit. Okay. And this is free. Theoretically, they maybe would, like, move where they're putting that unit. Discard phase. I mean, sure. I'd rather draw some ranged guys. Haha! -ha. I knew your plan, fool! Okay, they, they're doing some more damage here. To declare victory in a battle, you must either reduce their morale to zero or destroy all units in the enemy's army. If your total morale is reduced to zero, you have no available moves, no cards left in deck or hand, and no spirits to summon, you will be defeated. This is the end of the tutorial. If you need further explanation on any game mechanics, check the glossary in the menu. You can continue this battle or press exit to return to the menu. I'm just, I, I feel good, good enough about that. Let's give it a gander. Press X to skip. In the year... Oh, this looks hefty. Hey, you can check it out for yourself. It looks hefty. Oh my goodness. There's so much flavor text. If there are five or more units on the battlefield, new units placed on the battlefield start with one extra max health. If you have a thief or rogue unit on the battlefield, you may gather intel for free every turn. Ooh. On the fourth turn of every battle, receive three additional points of energy on the beginning of that turn. This one's the most interesting to me. Let's go for, like, the rogues. And they... Okay, looks like they have a different starting deck, too. I shall accept this contract. All right, this is kind of neat. For, a, like, a completely free game on Steam? This is kind of legit. I can't... I can't deny. It's, like, there's a lot of familiar elements, but also there's some new fresh stuff as well here. Uh, okay. So one thing that it does that's weird is the flavor text leads directly into the uh, effect text. So, like, if Thief attacks an opposing enemy... A grim fellow's apprentice, crafty and, and duplicitous, if the thief attacks. Okay, so like it's just the second part that matters to for combat. They steal one point of energy to add to the player's total. Uh, during the... What is this here? Generates an energy when entering the battlefield during the upkeep phase. Gnome will transform into a random adjacent unit, removing all effects. So I guess I'll put down you... Put down the gnome after. So yeah, okay, you did generate an energy. So I have an item. Uh, targeted unit receives minus one damage stat and becomes poisonous. Poisonous units inflict poison status to opposing unit when attacked. Okay. Maybe. Well, I guess the, it's not relevant right now, I suppose. So I guess we need search. Add a warlock to the battlefield at grid two. Okay, I don't fully know what that means. And a goblin to grid one. Goblin does one damage, has, is a one three. Warlock is like, is a two three. And is going to be attacking this slot. I think that's just fine. And there's not much we want to do. So we're definitely going to just smack smack for whatever it's worth. It's going to be zero, but then we get the two there. We definitely don't need two of these. Hell, I don't even know if we need what we've got. Whatever. Oh, wait. you're. Oh, the warlock can... Uh... Oh. The warlock. I did not realize the warlock could be melee. That is harmful, to say the least. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's a problem. Uh, Panacea, cure all negative status effects. Sacrificial Dagger destroys targeted unit and adds the sum of that unit's current damage and current health to total morale. Oh my god. The fact that you were able to come out and kill my rogue because you were a frontline. So so this is for this is this is two for you. It's not one two for you, it's one two. Hi yi yi. I don't have anybody who can even tank that hit. I think I spent an energy on that, but that's okay. Skeleton to grid three. Serpent to grid four. One, three. Skeleton, two, two. Oh my god! Okay. So you're melee ranged... You have two, so I guess the best thing for me to do is probably move you back. Put my rogue here. You don't have attack anyway, so I can give you the... So you now have poison. Instead, for what it's worth. And we can search for free. You can, Okay, you're doing the same thing. I don't have the energy for this. I mean, aye, 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 basically. Prepare. Uh, I'll attack with bolts just in case poison can do something to you. No. Discard. I'll get rid of the panacea. I'm gonna get rid of both. Oh, my word. You've got so much that you can do. So what is that symbol up there? What, What is poison? Wait, hold on. What happened? Okay. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, you stole. Gotcha. Uh, let's check uh, glossary. Poison? 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 Po poisonous. Inflicts poisoned. On upkeep phase, each poison unit deals one damage to your morale. Ooh. Wait. That's so good, actually. Oh, we lost it when you transformed. A cry in shame. Magic powder. Transform target unit into a random unit from the controller's deck. I will say the warlock is most annoying. I could do that on them. Mage ranged unit. Damage status equal to the amount of cards currently in hand. We could just like go over your head. Uh, let's see. Returns target unit to your hand, removing all active effects. It can be replayed as a brand new unit. Actually, yes. So we can move you up. Minus one damage stat. Inflicts poison. I got rid of Panacea, too. I guess I'll drop down the rogue there. We still have one energy left, which I guess we'll use for this. Melee ranged, one, two. Goblin to grid six. Warlock to five. Goblin to six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Goblin has three health? Skeleton to grid seven, one, two, I mean, eh, whatever, we'll do that. And I think we send it. Prepare. Attack with all. We should theoretically get a lot of energy. Okay. And are we stealing it? Are we actually stealing it from them? Not quite. Uh, discard. I actually think I might like the mage. I'll trash that card. Mage sounds kind of nice. We can just... Uh, a shame. A cry in shame. And oh, a double cry in shame. 
God, they are, they just have so much they can do. Theoretically, I don't have the rogue at anymore. If the pyromancer is attacked from melee range, attacking unit takes one damage and becomes burned. When resting, remove all negative status effects. Okay, so you can kind of just like, you can be a big, dumb, annoying tank. You're also like a really good stupefy target. Like, I would like if you got stupefied. So, if you're attacked from melee range, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, rogue. Upon entering the battlefield, creates a trap card in hand. This unit's attacks inflict poison. I do have the energy for it. So, what's the trap? Gotcha. That really matters here. I'm out of energy. God, skeleton goblin. I mean, okay, I will say that that's the one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That is the rest of their cards. They are out of cards after this. And I feel like this pyromancer situation, like, is going to be really, really nice. You can't attack, right? Correct. Okay, so you do that, and you also inflict the poison, which means that you should take morale damage. Not health damage, morale damage. Discard. I only have two cards left in my deck. Especially if I want to use these mages, I shouldn't be trashing them like this. What does this trap do? If it's attacked, do two damage to the attacking unit and destroy yourself. Okay. Holy. Alright. So you are now a melee unit. But I also can... Um, just completely stand still with you and it's fine. Hmm. Pixie. When it... Pixie grants all other units plus one damage and max health permanently. If the Pixie is killed, the player takes 10 damage to morale? What? Okay, so these skeletons don't do damage right now. They decay. Alright, th this is... This looks terrible, but it's a lot better than it seems. Especially since we can use this spirits. Okay, so we have... You're doing four damage. You only need to do three, so I can use a card. Leaning towards the trap right now. Oh, shoot. I already moved you. Oh, I'm out of energy. No actions plan. Okay, we're good, we're good to go. So we want you to... Do we want to kill? Technically, we're better off just stalling with you. Technically. You heal two. You do two, and you do one damage. The question is if I want to attack or stall with you. Definitely attack. Might as well attack. Because you're probably going to... You're going to move the goblin. I can only assume. Well, the rogue is... Well, I'm going to die if, if I... Whatever. Because the goblin's down, and I guess that's... Gets plus one damage for each adjacent goblin. Yeah, that's fine. We have, to, we have to attack with you then. And then if you move down with anybody... Oh, that's right. You can't move down with that guy. He can move with the... Um, the whatchamacallit. And we've got one card left. Let's maybe put down the pixie as a, to close, you know? I think I'll probably opt for... Um, going for a kill. Yeah. Figured, figured you'd do that. That makes sense. Checks out, checks out, checks out. So it's interesting how this looks bad, but now we are going to be able to turn it around in our favor. Okay. Kill, kill. These don't... Or this, that's not going to do anything. This doesn't do anything. It's a melee range only. We can only play one card. Well, actually, no. We could play a spirit and then um, draw another one. Interesting. Interesting. 
Because you only need to do three damage. You're doing melee, kill, kill. Okay. All right. We should be golden. Kill. Because you can't play the spirits, thankfully. Discard again. No point. We're going to draw our last card right now. It says the cards are limited. So that it's stupid to bother, you know? But we're just going for the murder. You're melee, right? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This is really neat. This is really quite neat. No mercy achievement. Add card to your deck. Uh, another rusted weapon. Another mage. I mean, it's interesting because you you always want more. Well, not always, but you're probably always going to want more cards because of the raw nature of like, if it runs out, it's out, and you only have a couple. Uh, wand originally belonged to the... Okay, no. Wait, where does it... Where does the actual information start? Units with... Applies confusion status to all targeted units. Units with confusion have their attack mode reversed. Uh, this could be good with the Pyromancer. Like, I could actually actively... Like, I could use it on the enemies and myself. I'll take it. It's also different. We, we have these already. Remove. Remove a card from your deck. I will say the Pixie but doing 10 damage to my morale is terrifying. But I don't know if we need two swords. I don't think we need two of those. So never mind. I take it back. Retromation's reputation level one. Oh. Okay. I was confused for a sec. Gotcha. Units 9, morale 30. More Outriders. Pyromancer. So I probably don't want to trash stuff then, huh? Transform target unit into a random unit from its controller's deck. I don't know, man. Skeleton Knight to Battlefield at Grid 1. Skeleton Knight, 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, boy. Grid 1. That's no joke, because we only heal for two. Three is a really, like, three is a really important damage threshold in this game, I'm going to imagine, considering you heal three. And I can't, do I, yeah, 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 I'm going to get rid of just the panacea. I'm going to regret it, I'm sure, but I don't know how many status effects they have that I care about. Resilience. When killed, it becomes a pile of bones. Pile of bones will reform into a skeletonite after one turn, if not destroyed. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with a good old, like, be something else. Gotcha. It's the Venom Man. I have two energy. I can play the mage. Wait, so... I don't have the rogue out! Ah, I thought I don't have the rogue out. Bad. Bad boy. Bad. Warlock on grid 5, Serpent on grid 4. You're putting your Warlock here. Interesting. I could move, but then you're probably... Theoretically, you move your Warlock after. So we can actually do this, though. And then I can... can I, I can I can look back at it. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Man, the fact that it costs energy. Normally. So, Warlock, Grid 5, Serpent, Grid 4. Serpent does 1. I'm not really worried about the Serpent. I think we'll, like, 
We'll do some sneaky stuff, hopefully. Just get a little bit of extra damage. We're doing more than you. Discard. Again, kind of want to be stingy with discards. Especially if the cards in my hand are units. Now, this I don't like. But he is going to make my character into a melee character, which I, I enjoy. Puts us in a spot where we can move him forward. Yeah, we can move him forward. I think that I, I'm thinking I'm doing that regardless, right? And then I could put down the mage who will do three damage. That seems kind of huge, right? So, we'll kill if you don't move your serp. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to... No, you're not going to move the warlock down. You can't move the warlock down. You might summon somebody. Um... I, it's, I'm just going to look at your hand. Two skeleton, skeleton warrior, goblin. Okay. Hmm. Yep. I'm aware I'm poisoned. I'm aware. I'll deal. I'm happy with the I'm happy with my cards. I think you have to you have, you have to be so careful. So careful with discarding cards. Another skeleton knight. Yeah, figuring out how to deal with him is gonna be really awkward. Like it's really tricky. Yep. almost like okay so do I, I don't have another wizard because otherwise if I could put you down and then put down a wizard that would be like really ideal I can't I can't get the mage over there in time you create a trap card wait that's probably our answer right I'm gonna get the goblin out of here before it becomes a problem trap card seems like a great fix for this Why do I get it? Oh, I have the rogue now. I do have the rogue now. Skeleton at grid one. Okay, keep that in mind. So that's two damage. Goblin at grid six. Skeleton at grid eight. Goblin. That makes sense. You're going to give this the damage boost, but it's going to... It's not going to die. My rogue still lives. we got the other thing there. Inflicts poison status. So we're going to want to heal our pyromancer instead. We know that we're going to want to attack. Attack. Might as well attack. But we want the Pyromancer to heal since we know what's coming. Get the poison out. The skeleton is going to probably end up moving, maybe? Discard? Nope. Again. We've got cards I'm happy to play. Love that poison. Okay. Scary. Because we kill here and then we know that the goblin's going to... Wait, what? I thought I healed you up to... I thought I healed you. What? Schwat? Where's my other wizard? Oh, my heavens. Okay. So how many units do you have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have one more unit, and then we're good after that. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Could let this rogue heal. We could go for you. Snipe this back line. I'll kill the skeleton. Actually, I should probably kill that skeleton. I don't know what a pile of I don't know what a pile of bones is. How much health does a pile of bones have? That's really important information. Uh-oh. Either way, it's worth it to not take that damage. Regardless. Serpent to grid 7.
Uh, heal, attack. I guess attack. Okay. Okay, good. It only has one health. Shoosh. Better not be able to move. Discard. I'm going to get rid of this at this point. I actually do think we... Like, ideally, I get the, the wizard. But we're about to... It, it's kind of... It's really interesting how it starts off really screwing you over. And this fight slowly turns over into your favor. I, I think that's really interesting. Like, and that it's just that way from, like, the raw mechanics of it. Oh, that's right. We have the pixie. I could probably play the pixie. How risky is it? Uh, it's not that risky. We're going to be killing both these, yeah? Okay, so this is actually a pretty safe place to put this. So everybody just got massively buffed. Grab this. I couldn't do it first because you can't have your hand size over four. I guess, did I try that? Maybe I didn't try that. I, Because otherwise it would have been optimal to do that first, obviously. But I, I assume that we can't go over four. Uh, ba 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 When entering the battlefield. So, yeah, you don't have the buff. I, I mean, it's all right. Let's just get the, uh, the one extra damage to actually... Oh, my God. To them by having the wizard get the buff instead. Yeah, we'll be good. Next turn, we're good. We'll get an actual, like, HP kill. Discard. Nah. Nah. 1-3. Curious. I'm gonna overkill ya. Have at ye. Punk. Hit you with the zero. Nice. Just a guy, Acolytes. Uh, grants, gains plus one max health if there's a cleric adjacent to this unit, plus one damage if there's a cult priest adjacent. That's so specific. Pyromancer. I don't know if I need another one. Ring returns target unit to your hand as a card. Oh, boy. Could we just, like, get a Pyromancer and replace a Pyromancer? Thoughts? I want to see if we can. Yep. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Nails Outriders. Three. Three. I mean, they're getting scared. They have all... Yeah, there's a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Oh, mama. Rogue immediately is pretty cool. Because we can get the freebie. Add Skeleton Knight to grid four. I mean, surely you won't just leave it there, right? Surely you won't still... Find out. Whatever. I mean, I'm just happy that you're not adding it here. Uh, I mean, I think I'm... I think I'm good. Well, we kind of need to draw... If you have the Skeletonite, I sort of need to draw my Pyromancer next. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you probably will still. Okay. That helps a lot. That helps so much. Okay, we have a freebie. Goblin to three. Hobgoblin to two. We don't know what that is, even. Very much, yes. Okay, we also, yeah, that's right, we gain, uh, we steal a little bit of energy. Discard. The gnome is so strange. Transform into a random adjacent unit, removing all effects. I, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> what a weird guy. He costs two. Is it the only cost-effective way to... if we steal, like, a pyromancer or something. I I'm ditching you for now. Since we're gonna redraw up. I like him. He's just... I like him flavor-wise. He's just strange. Alright, what's the hobgoblin? Plus... Wait. Whenever another goblin unit enters the battlefield, gains plus one damage. Upon death, deal damage equal to the... Mor or player's morale equal to current damage stat. Huh... We need it dead, and we need it dead fast. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to get it dead fast. Okay, you're not adding any goblins, and there you, you total misplay on the turn order there. Hate to say. Warlock to grid six. Five six. Warlock does two damage. If you're truly not adding a goblin, even though you can, you're still doing that. Okay. This is pretty optimal for me, I think. Oh, wait, shoot. You can only do this once a turn? Why? I have a spear and I have an energy. I guess that's just... Oh, shoot. I guess that's just a thing. Oh, well. We, we lose one damage out of it. Here I was thinking I was going to gain a damage. Alas, alas. Discard. No. I'm not sure where I'm at on... Uh, actually, I think we could use... I think we could utilize this. Uh, could be a... If we can find... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If we can find a skeleton, we can have a skeleton perma-poisoned. So if we put a... Um, a spirit with the sword there, we got good, good stuff happening. Uh, you are a counter to this. We're going to kind of thwart our wizards a little bit. See, That's the different sword. <laughs> That's the different sword. Okay. Whatever. That's not the the what the rust the rusty sword. It's not that. Okay. Well we uh, bleh. Skeleton grid 7, hobgoblin grid 5. I mean, I'm glad we're killing you now. Skeleton I don't really care about. This I this I like. We're not gonna get or we're not gonna hit, but you're gonna hit me, you're gonna stupefy, you're gonna take the damage, and then I'm gonna be able to return and hit you. Spirits good, good, good. One, two, three, four, five. So which the hobgoblin's at five. I'm down with that. That's that's fine by me. I can't attack with it. Won't let me. For logical reasons. 
I think this is very much... We, like, we should go for a health kill. Panacea. I don't see anything... The only status effect coming my way is going to be the stupefy, and I kind of... Like, I kind of want that, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, no. You changed where the skeleton spawned. That just makes sense. That makes sense. I didn't think that you would do a thing that makes sense for some reason. Okay, good. That's a good situation for us. All right. Do I have a rogue? I don't have a rogue out anymore. I can't uh, inspect for free. Units left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh... You know, if we want to be bold as hell, we could certainly... Certainly just slap in the pixie. Yeah, so, okay, so we confirmed we can't do that now. Interesting. Pixie is t a terrifying prospect, though. I'm going to just do this for a sec, so this is free. Skeleton Knight to grid 8. Goblin to grid 7. Um, we're definitely doing... We're definitely doing that. Okay, I could put down this and then the... Uh, how many ranged units do you have left? You have no ranged units left. In your hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you actually... You literally have no ranged units. I can put this in the back and we're fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and do... I know it's going to... It's going to mess things up a little bit. You're going to go down to two, but then you'll get buffed back up to three. I'm out of energy! I'm out of energy. Okay, well, then we just have to leave it. We have to just stay hands off, even though we could play this. Because we need to be able to kill the hobgoblin. All right. This is all fine. Attack with everything? It's either attack with everything or don't attack with you so that we, like, bait out. I mean, you're just going to keep on going in a circle. It sort of works for us to have you keep stalling out. Because you're blocking them and slowly he's going to die. Because if anything that does two damage to the Pyromancer is slowly going to just die. It's just how it is. Discard. I think we're good with this. I think we can push for lethal next turn really easily with this pixie. This is... You're dead. Youch. Okay. Am I out of... Okay, I was gonna say, am I out of cards? Wait. Ooh, it's kind of fun. I mean, it was risky, kind of, like, if we didn't have the numbers here, but our back line snipes it. Pretty cool. I, I do like that uh, play the pixie, pull it back, play it again. That, I do think that's very cute. I really like that. Plague Doctor. When entering the battlefield, create a Contagion Brew card in the hand. I'm assuming it's going to be like poison somebody. Or Oh, hey, look at that. It, it'll be this. Uh, What the heck? Sorry. Where does the targeted unit becomes toxic, causing their attacks to apply plague status to opposing units? Target unit also becomes poison. Uh... Okay, okay, plague status is different, though. Plague status is not poison. Okay, weird. Another pixie. 
Honestly, it was fun, but I, I really think you only have... I, I think you only take one pixie, right? I think you just take one. Plague Doctor cannot be affected by negative status conditions. I mean, Plague Doctor is just pretty good. It's just like a raw, raw good card. Nothing wrong with it. I'll say that I'm not, like, jazzed about removing stuff. Sacrificial Dagger, I think, can maybe go. Choose a new perk. Start every battle with a Reaper's Scythe card and a Cursed card in hand. I don't know what that means. Every turn, receive a random amount of energy in a range from your current base energy. Minus three. And your current base energy plus three. Um, Sneko Eye, more or less. All player units enter the battlefield with a poisonous effect, but have minus one to base damage. How would that work for us? Would that work in our favor? All player player units. <sighs> Makes it much harder to remove the enemy's units from the board. Like, much harder. I don't know. Th these are all... I, I actually think it's kind of interesting. It it's all... Oh, choose a boon. Five boost to morale, receive an extra energy per turn, plus one damage, and health to spirits base sets. This is so... How the hell is this game free? It's criminal. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This... Like, I don't mean... This is, <laughs> this is a positive thing that's laced in some negative things. I played a lot of games recently that just aren't as good as this that I paid a lot more, like, a lot more than a, just, like, a couple bucks for. And this, I'm, like, I'm actively upset that I didn't at least pay, like, two bucks for this or something. Like, anything. I'm actively upset because of just how clever it is and how good it is. Like, yes, it's using, um, you know, free assets or whatever, but, like, they're doing really good things with it. And, like, it's just so, it's so nice. I hope this gets developed further and further. Um... See, this is such an interesting decision. This is... I looked at this and I was like, oh, well, why would I ever not... What, like, why would I ever take something other than this? And I saw that and I'm like, okay, that's actually kind of... That's kind of hot. The morale one seems a bit weak, but maybe there's something more to it that I don't understand. I mean, th there's definitely probably some builds that it's more logical. Uh, like, maybe even the knights who need to get more units out, etc., etc. Um, man... I think I would go for this, but I could very easily see a world where I do that. Uh, Gloom Dwellers. I am going to to probably call it here, but let me take a look and see what happens when I go to Gloom Dwellers. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, like, I was kind of hoping that we'd get, like, a, maybe a different biome or whatever, or even just, like, a different color palette or something. I think that could go a long way, but again, game, game free. Curse. What is this? Uh, cannot be discarded if this is in your hand at the beginning of your turn. It deals one damage to morale. If transferred to a unit, that unit takes one damage at the beginning of the turn. Ah, okay, so that's certainly not good, but we also get the Reaper's Scythe. Uh, destroys targeted unit and deal three damage to player morale. Oh, okay. Targets, target an enemy. Target player has to... So this is something I have to put this on mine unit... But I also get the Reaper Scythe. It seemed like all of the all of the perks, and I think this is a clever way of scaling the difficulty and everything. Is like it's a double-edged sword. We get we got a trinket and a curse at the same time, like an almost an ascension style effect and a trinket at the same time. Uh, but I would say that this probably shakes out as being beneficial, like taking down a really nasty, like a really nasty unit. And doing three morale damage at the same time is kind of nice. I don't know. Alas, alas, though. That is that. That's going to do it for today for Gridlock. Um, yeah, go play this for free. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know. What do you What do you need me to say at the, at this point? Like, I'm I'm gushing for it for for the price of free. Holy crap! Like, I am literally the first thing I'm going to do when I'm done with this video is I'm going to search for a way to give this developer money uh, to. <laughs> to to get this game developed further like seeing a lot of these decisions if they had like their own you know their own budget for art or something like that 
uh, instead of using the asset pack. Not that it's a bad asset pack, or like just to develop it further, add more stuff, add more cards. Obviously, I'm seeing dupe cards, things like that, so I don't know what replayability is like. There's the obviously the three factions, but just like, yeah, just with little bits and polish here and there, like, this game is so fun. Like, what a cool game. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. I try and check out all the things that look quite interesting that maybe other people may not touch because they're not, you know, top tier polished, things like that. I I'm willing to dive in there and see if I can find something that is a hidden gem. And boy, howdy, do I come out with hidden gems very, very often. So... Uh, go ahead, do a subscribe, get notified when cool things like this come out all the time. Thank you for watching, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!